One of the challenges uh, we have noticed is with the registration activation of ACMS users, be it the membership side on the clerk side or in the treasury module side, where we are assigning the roles of church clerk or church treasurer. So I'm going to quickly walk through um, the ways that I've seen that make it quite easy for you to be able to add users. So the first thing that you want to find out, you are at a particular church, this one is a test church, and we want to check if the person we want to add is a member of this church. So we click on search. Once we are here, we have two options. We can use the advice given here, use a percentage sign like this one and then type their name. Or if you want, you can actually even just click on search and it will give you a list of all the members in that church. So in this case, these are the members that are in their church. And in our example today, we want to assign um, Julia to be the church clerk of this church. So the first thing that we want to check, which is always important, is to find out if their email address is already attached to their membership record. So we click on the pencil and we come down here and we see indeed that their email address is attached. We also advise you to also include their mobile number so that communication um, with uh, announcements and so on is made easy. So we, are, we have done the first part. We have seen that their email address is attached. We can click back here at search and we will still get the same results that we had. The next step is to make sure that their role, they've been, they've been assigned the role that they need to play. It. And to do that, we come into church departments and we click on church officers. Once we click on this um, church officers tab, we will be able to search and see who is already assigned any role in that church. We click over there and we can see that there is a treasurer and a test user who have been assigned the church clerk role. But we also want to add Julia to, to, to this role. So what we then do, uh, we have two options at this point. We can either use their membership number. I normally like to use the membership number because it's very direct. There is no need to waste time searching for the name. So I'll just go back to the list of uh, members in this church. And then I'll do another quick search. And this time I'm going to copy the code which is linked to their membership record. Click copy there. And then I'll go back to the church officers tab so that I'm able to now assign Julia as a second church clerk for this church. So the next thing that I need to do here is to click on new and then come down to secretariat. And once that is ha that has happened, I can come and, 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 and say that I want to assign um, uh, Julia as an associate church clerk. So that is what we call deputy church clerk. Uh, you can always give it an interesting name. And here I'll now paste uh, Julia's um, membership number and um, she has access to ACMS and will be authorized. And once I do this and I click on the search button, I will now see that the record of Julia is the correct one because there could be multiple users. That's why it's important for you to use the, the, the membership number rather than the name. If there are more people in that church with the same name, we might have run a risk of assigning the wrong person the role and that would be a, a serious um, a security breach. So it's easier to use the number. And once I found them, I'll click on select and now I'm ready to save. And once this has happened, uh, they are now assigned the associate church clerk uh, role and I'll click on search and I'll click search here. And now the, the second part is done. So I've confirmed now that Julia has been assigned the secretariat associate role. And now the next thing that normally happens is the logging in issue. Uh, where now the member has the role, everything, but they're still failing to log in for whatever reason. So the easiest way that I've seen that uh, makes life easy is for you to come back to the membership uh, list, which I'm going to just do now. Search for Julia or just um, do a listing. And then on these three little assist buttons here, you click on them and you will see there's a user invitation here. You can use this to invite them to ACMS. When I do this, an invitation is sent for them to be able to um, successfully log in. And I also go a second step and I click on the new user option. And when I click on this new user option, I'm now able to give them a temporary password. So I'll just type a temporary password here, which I will share directly with the user. 
it means that when they use this temporary password that I've given them, the system will prompt them to put in their own email address. As with any system, we discourage the, uh, the practice of sharing passwords or setting a password that you give because we want the user to be the only person who has the access rights to access the system. So click on this uh, require password change and the next time they try and use this temporary password I've just entered, they will be prompted to put in their own password. And then on the language, we are advocating that you use the, the English GB because we are actively uh, translating it to be, up, um, uh, to be applicable to our region. So use English GB, which is the Great Britain one. And once I've done this and I click on save, now I can communicate with Julia and give her the temporary password and she will be able now to successfully log into the system. I hope this helps. Um, the other issue that I've also noticed is the allowing of cookies in the browsers, whatever browser you are using, uh, you need to allow the uh, cookies uh, to the membership um, uh, URL, which is the acmsnet.org. This website must be allowed to um, uh, use cookies on, 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 on your browser if you, if you have um, issues with logging in. Most people have seen the login loop issue. Uh, where you are trying to log in and it keeps looping and not logging in, you are encouraged to try and um, allow cookies and then see if that helps. Thank you.